up guys welcome back to the channel today we got ourselves a brand new track from imminence titled ghost Ooh, spooky right i don't know we'll find out but anyway i'm pretty excited for this and uh, i'm sure you guys are too because imminence have been really solid past two singles been really good uh if you guys don't know who imminence is yet at this point their metalcore with violin sounds like architects a little bit good production good vocals good instrumentation good music videos all that jazz just very good stuff anyway that's all we really need for chit chat so let's fuck do it music video the whole the audio whoever produced this oh here comes that violin Oh my god, what an intro, man. Here we go. This music video is incredible so far. Okay. How the violin comes in second time around. Chorus time. Hit me with that chorus. Ooh. Now that is a good rhythm for a chorus. Makes everything so massive. Oh man. Second verse, let's go. Pre-chorus this time. I'm getting a lead now. Oh, it's happening. Nice. Alright, we already got one breakdown. But that was like a little tease for the upcoming breakdown. So let's go.
Yeah, well done on the video, man. <laughs> totally get it. It's tough. Do I pay attention to the video or the song? But uh, mostly the song, so let's talk about it. Eminence definitely has this massive epic sound nailed down pat. Holy crap, their songs sound massive. I think that is one of the key components, even more remarkable than the violin that people tend to talk about when it comes to Eminence. But yeah, super solid. And I think my favorite part is actually the chorus. Weirdly enough, I usually don't talk about choruses as much as other parts, but I think the chorus was really good in this song. Anyway, let's go through the pros and cons. So number one, yeah, like on the topic of choruses, I think the chorus is just massive. And what I really liked is how the, the rhythm section for the band was actually like leaving a lot of room of silence and rest to let the vocals just like come through. And I think they know exactly what they're doing because the vocals are massive in terms of like also production is helping big time. Uh, but you know, let those vocals shine so you know if their instrumentation's like l really busy and stuff then it's hard to pay attention to the vocals as much when there's so much other stuff going on so I think just the rhythm section was actually really cool to let those vocals shine and like and I liked how the first chorus was like emphasis to end it on like a loud scream second time we got the chorus didn't really do that instead you know it repeated itself a second time but on the second time around it had that tapping lead so like that's what I love about like having little variations here and there to like just shake things up a little bit and then the final chorus just again belted out that note um all three choruses were different that is what i love that's what i love i hate it when it's just like okay let's just do the same thing here and there and just like it's so lazy man it the climaxes and the switch ups are not surprising when it, it it's too copy and paste for me man so i really liked it how they had three different choruses um, another thing that I thought was just solid was also just production and the intro to this was like phenomenal. I don't know if that was part of the track or just going to be part of the album, but the intro was just super cool in terms of all the layering effects and um, some of the quieter kind of vocal samples just like kind of like ebbing and flowing through these different uh, layers of uh, music. Like it was super interesting and also helped with the music video, which also I'll make that my next pro. Like. Three for three for music videos. Their music videos are really, really high quality. Uh, did not understand the story, just like their other videos, because I'm paying attention to the song when listening to it. But, you know, like the tribal kind of Amazonian kind of like setting is very unique for metal. Um, unless it's like Gojira, Amazonia or something. But I mean, like for metalcore, it's very unique. So I thought that was really cool. It's not them playing in a garage, right? So I think it's really cool, but also they got more budget for this anyway, right? Another thing that I liked about this song was actually the violins. I thought the violins were done tastefully here and not just overpowering because like um, Eminence is known to be like the violin architects band kind of. So I liked it how the violin was there, but it wasn't the focal point. I felt like the vocals were the focal point and I thought that was really a nice change for this band, but the violin is still there. It has that odd swelling to like transition from one part or like during the intro, they had it there too, but like it wasn't the main focus and I thought that was a nice touch. Uh, breakdowns were solid. I also liked it how the second verse was different from the first verse. You know, we didn't get a pre-chorus in the second verse, but the second verse had a breakdown. Things like that I loved. Um, let's go on to the cons and really there's not a lot of cons to this song, like if I can think of any. Like uh, the only thing I was really thinking of was the breakdowns, um, especially the main breakdown did hit like a massive train so because of production and in terms of just like the wall of sound worked in its favor I just would have personally liked a little bit more buildup for that breakdown to just emphasize that massive moment because the reason why I'm saying that is the choruses were already huge like this song hit those highs for me already and so for the breakdown sometimes the breakdowns in a song is the main highlight or like a guitar solo or something right um, but you know when that breakdown hit it was heavy and hard-hitting but then when those choruses are in that same kind of high for me. So for the breakdown to be elevated a little bit more, I would have liked more buildup or something a little bit more unique to get to that breakdown. Like I felt like the buildup was a little bit um, cliche in terms of how it's getting there. And like, you know, there's violin, maybe swell on that violin or something a little bit different because when the breakdown happened, it just, it hit hard because of production and the wall of sound, but the buildup wasn't there for me. That's the kind of thing that I'm talking about. That was like the only con to otherwise a really sick tune and uh, yeah, so Eminence so far is three for three. Each single sounds a little bit different. This sounds a little bit more similar to the first song. Uh, I think I like the first song the most still, but this is still really good. I think Paralyzed was that song? I don't know. Don't quote me on that. 
But yeah, this was still a sick song, but I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. So comment down below. Spice up my life. What would you guys think of Eminence Ghost? I'm curious to know. Also, if you got to this point in the video and haven't clicked off yet, then I appreciate the shit out of you, man. Part of that, thank you for tuning in. Till next time. Peace.